A local funeral home is trying to understand who would steal a hearse and set it up in flames. C's family funeral home in Bemidji is missing one hearse after criminals got a hold of it on Monday. Haiti Clotter has more on the story. And uh, Kevin Cease of Cease Family Funeral Homes is used to being in the back of the church, but that quickly changed when he learned that a hearse was stolen from the family business. We came to work on Monday morning and the garage door was open and uh, the hearse was not there and it was very strange feeling, very unsettling. Someone broke into the garage of the funeral home and stole one of the Cadillac hearses similar to this one. Considering the type of business they're in, where they help others during difficult times, the news was shocking. My family was extremely distraught. We're ex extremely upset about this because we feel anytime you have activity against you, it feels personal. Cease Funeral Home has been in business for more than 100 years, and an incident like this has never happened before until they replaced the damaged hearse they borrowed from, from one of their other locations. According to Cease, the hearse was locked away in the garage and police responded right away and there were no witnesses. Detective Heather Holden with the Bemidji police couldn't be identified on camera, but says the investigation is ongoing and she doesn't believe this was a targeted incident. We don't have a lot of information as to who stole it. We do have some physical evidence that we've submitted to the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension for analysis to their laboratory. Once we get that information back, we may be able to go further in finding some more suspects. The hearse was eventually found damaged and burned in Clearwater County and is a total loss. Hearses can cost $100,000. In the meantime, C says they take security very serious and only brought the hearse out of the garage for a funeral. Because really one comes down to it. Who the heck comes and takes a hearse and then burns it? C says the outpouring support from the community has made it a lot better. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. And anyone with information about this case is asked to call the Bemidji Police Department. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.